things are to do. But how to change a 2013 Honda Accord front brakes. As you can see, the brakes need to be changed. Now the tools that you're going to need is of course your brakes, socket set and wrench, a big screwdriver, your lug nut operator, and the most important thing of more, a nice beer. I ain't, I ain't getting paid by them, so I ain't gonna show the label. A nice beer. Then a brick that we put in the back of the tire. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and get down here on the ground and you wanna locate the steel frame of the car so that you can jack this car up so that you can go ahead and do this. Now, as you can see here, all this stuff here is plastic. But right there, right on there, yonder up there, that right there, right there, that's the steel part of the car in the front. And that's where you want to jack it up. That part right there, that's the steel part. That's what you want to find. Let's go ahead and jack this up. Now, we done got this car off the ground. We ready to go ahead and get to this brake assembly. Now, in my non-professional opinion, this is going to be the greatest brake and tutorial you are ever going to see. And don't forget to take a swig of beer on every step. All right, now, you're going to make sure that you get this tire off, and let's see what happens with these, these brakes. Now, what I really forgot to tell you people to do before you go in here and jack this car up, you want to loosen all these lug nuts while the car is on the ground. Just loosen them up so that it'll be easy for you to go ahead and just take these lug nuts off when the car is up in the air. So I'm already loosened it and jacked the car up, so these be very easy for me to just go in here and just get these lug nuts off. So we went and got the tire off the car. We messed with the the rotor and the brake assembly where it looked like. We put the tire underneath the car, you know, just in case the drop. It'll fall right on top of the tire. Old countryman trick. Now, another old countryman trick. Now, this is your brake assembly. And as you can see, there's a hose line here that attaches to the bottom or the top middle of the brake line. So the nut you want to take off will be the one at the bottom. This one here. And this is going to swing this whole assembly part upward. Okay? You want to take off the bottom nut to swing the whole part upward. Okay? But the very first thing you want to do is you want to turn your steering wheel towards you or to the left. You go ahead and turn that steering wheel all the way to the left. Hold on, hold on. See that? And then that gives you a way better access to your brakes. Now this part right here is very important as well. Because you don't you're not flushing out the system. You don't want to have to put more brake fluid in there. That's where the big screwdriver comes in handy. Your big screwdriver. You want to put that screwdriver inside here. Get over in there. And you're going to take that screwdriver and you're going to go ahead and pry that brake thing back. Get another grip. Pry it on back. Keep doing that until you can get it flush with the um, you can get that piston back there. Show you. You can get that piston flush with the back of the, um, the caliber so that when you put the new brake pads on, they're not going to be too big, you know. And you got to push that thing back. So make sure you get it all the way flush. So you can't get it no more. All right. Now, 
I'm gonna go ahead and get the right size socket, right size socket on here, which is a 12. And you wanna go ahead and you wanna go on reverse, and you wanna go ahead and take that bottom screw. Yeah. Boom. Get that bottom screw out. This whole semi part goes right up. Look at that. Very nice. Now, see that? I didn't get that all the way flush. So, what I would do is go ahead and put this back on. Flush. Put the screw back in. And then pry it some more so that I get that piston flush before I put the new brake pads on. We won't do that and I'll be right back. All right, now I got it nice and flush with that caliber. Now, take these brakes off. As you see, there's still some meat on there. And you know, it hasn't got to the indicator yet. So I still have some time. But because the brake set that I bought is lifetime warranty, go ahead and change them. Put some new ones on there. You want to keep your old ones because you want to make sure that you match up the brakes appropriately. Don't forget to take a swig of that beer to keep you calm and your nerves feeling good. Alright, let me tell you a little story about these brakes. You know, apparently, it might not be for all 2013 Honda Accords, but mine didn't fit the factory version. The Market versions of the uh, of the uh, 2013s, you know. So mine was all wrong. Now I'm saying that it shows me that I have to go to AutoZone and tell them that you know, the, the, the 2013 version didn't fit. So they went and checked, and they had a nice girl who knew exactly what she was talking about and she gave me some Honda Fit brakes that were identical to the Honda 2013 caliber that I had and that's how I got my brakes there's a fun fact or well, a fun non fact alright so now we got our brakes matched up that's the one that came off these are the ones to go back on you want to take your, your brake you want to go ahead and slide, pin at the bottom, in the back, slide these on, get it on there, take the front set, you want to go ahead and slide these on as well, very simple process, very easy, very quick, boom, done it done, now they should have gave you, or you can purchase, some brake lubricant. Let's say it together, folks. Brake lubricant. You're gonna go ahead and squeeze this lubricant on the front side of the brakes. Front side. Take your finger and you're just gonna rub it on in there. Rub it on in there. Hey, put some around the caliber itself. Rub it in there. Put some on the outside. Rub it on the inside. After you get your lubricant on, you're gonna go ahead and drop that brake caliber back on top because you made a flush. It fits right on in. Go on ahead, put that socket, that, that screw back in. Screw it on in. Make sure that you. Ratchet it on in tight. Hold up. There you go. Got that all ratchet in tight. And then turn it straight. Put your wheel back on. And there you go. You just replaced your 2013 Honda Accord brakes with ease. And huh, this video only took 10 minutes. So there you go, folks. In my non professional opinion. This is the greatest tutorial video you ever gonna see. And this here, I appreciate you watching.
don't forget to take a swig of beer to calm your nerves and stop your shaking. And you can be a non-true mechanic like I am. Alright, y'all have a great day. You hear?